Hello folks, this is uh, uh, 2021 May June paper 1 1 and the question number is 38 and it is related to the chapter chronic electricity as you can see from the diagram of this uh, potentiometer. A potentiometer circuit is used to determine the unknown electromotive force EMF of a cell X. Yes, it's true. So it will uh, be used to determine its E by the help of this E, by the help of another master cell. In the circuits shown, E is a cell with an EMF that is known accurately, okay, of course. QR is the potentiometer wire, QR, which is of uniform diameter, smooth wire, which has a movable contact here. So this con contact can be sli uh, slided here and there uh, very smoothly. So contact S is connected to a galvanometer and then to a cell X. What is not a necessary requirement to determine the EMF of X from the circuit? What is not the necessary requirement requirement to determine the EMF of uh, uh, EMF of uh, X from the circuit? So what we have here is uh, when we determine the EMF of this cell uh, in that condition at that condition this E of X will be equal to V of Q S V of Q S and this V Q S is equal to equal to the potential divided portion the divided potential of this this qs vqs is the divided potential of this some portion of this and that's equal to that's equal to rqs by the total r rqr into this e so vqs equal to this much and uh, this will uh, depend upon since uh, we have got a uh, row is same and a cross area is same it should be equal to LQS by LQR into this E so EX will be equal to somewhat like this when it is in balanced condition when it is in balanced condition so now let us analyze them one by one the EMF of cell X must be lower than the EMF of cell E so to determine this EX, so as we can see from here, we can see from here, since this QS is definitely less than QR, QR, QS is, LQS is less than LQR, EX should be less than E. EX should be definitely less than E, otherwise it cannot show, it will balance, it will, if even if we can take it here, it cannot be balanced. So if it balances somewhere, it means that EX should be less than this E. So this is a necessary condition. Next is, let's go to number D. The resistance of the wire QR, QR must be proportional to its length. Yes, this also is a necessary condition. It's because R equal to rho L by A. The cross section is uniform. It's very smooth. So that's why it should be equal to rho by A into L. So R is proportional to L. So R of this thing should be proportional to the length. That's the only depending factor here. No change in cross section ever, anywhere. Then the lengths QS and QR must be determined accurately. It says the length QS and QR must be determined accurately. It's also true because the accurate determination gives us the value of this EX. Now, why I am doing choice number B at the last is because it's the answer. The error resistance of cell X must be known. It says that for this to be determined, the error resistance of cell X must be known. It's not true. It is not true because this thing happens when the current through the galvanometer, current through the galvanometer is equal to zero. And when current here is zero, the current here is zero. And when current here is zero, this uh, uh, inner resistance is of no, no value. When current here is zero, the inner resistance uh, does not show its presence. It shows its presence only when there is a current flow across this cell. Because we often have a formula, V terminal is equal to E minus I into R. So if R equal to zero, then this Vt is equal to E. If I is equal to zero, Vt equal to E. So that means at that time, this EMF and the PD here, that's they are equal, they are equal. So during this measurement, this EMF equal to this PD and this PD equal to this VQS. VQS. So that means then that means the knowing of inner resistance is uh, um, is useless because we have made current zero. We have made current zero. So that's why this is not the absolutely necessary condition. So for the, here this case this should be the correct choice. 
So remember that what is not required here is the correct choice here because the question focuses on this not.